Around the world, most people don't have jobs. There are about three billion people in the world that live on less than $2 a day. As a reference point, there are only six billion in the whole world. So about half the world lives on less than $2 a day. And most of them work in what's called the informal economy. They sell goat cheese in the market, or they weave baskets and sell them in the market, or they um, sell milk or something. They do make shoes or, or mend shoes, do something to get by informally. And th that makes up the bulk of employment in most parts of the world. In Mexico, it's 65% of the economy, for example. Um, and so that exists. That's just reality. And most of these people who have these small businesses are incredibly cash constrained. Like this woman who needed $35 to almost double her income. $35 seems like not much to, to most of us here, but when she was making $2 a day, coming up with $35, that was quite a lot to try to come up with because that entire $2 a day that she made went to feeding her family. Um, so micro credit, I'm gonna distinguish between micro credit and micro finance. Micro credit is an idea, as you heard about, that uh, began about 30 years ago of giving small loans to these type of people, these men and women who are working in the informal economy, to either start a business if they didn't have one, or to grow an existing business. And oftentimes it's refinancing existing credit that they might have from money lenders. And I'll just pause and give a side comment. Money lenders are alive and doing well around the world. And there's almost a cartel in, in uh, money lender rates. And it tends to be about 10% a day. When I first started learning about this, my eyes did exactly what yours did. I, wow. 10% a day, and it's usually called the 10 plus one. So I'll ask people, or in some place it's even more, and in the Philippines it's called five six. That means I give you five in the morning, whatever it is, five pesos, five fish, five whatever, and you give me six in the evening. So even more, 20% a day. But it's usually 10 plus one, I'll give you 10 in the morning, you give me 10 back in the evening, 10% a day. 3,000% or 3,000, you know, 650% um, a year, which is incredible interest rate. So oftentimes microcredit uh, loans will refinance that and allow the, the woman or the man who runs a small business to keep the profits from that. So around the world there are programs that have grown up to give these small loans, to give loans to poor people working in the informal economy. There are about, depending on how you count them, three to five thousand of these programs worldwide that are giving small one hundred, two hundred dollar loans to these type of people, um, which is Great, it sounds like a lot, and you saw, you heard uh, the impact on one family's life. The, the rub, if you will, or the, the opportunity, since we're entrepreneurs, or at least wanting to be entrepreneurs, the opportunity is that less than 20% of all people who could benefit from microfinance or microcredit have access to it. So less than 20% market penetration. Um, I'll talk a little bit more uh, a bit later, but this is potentially a five billion, or $50 billion market, and right now it's about a $1 billion market, so huge growth opportunity.